I'm doing a couple home repair projects today and I thought I'd go ahead and video them for those of you who typically don't do them and you know just want to know some tips so the first thing I'm repairing today is that I have a loose towel holder in the bathroom so this particular thing has a little tiny hole at the bottom and that's where an Allen wrench has to go in and I set my Allen wrench down here it's a tiny little let's see if we can get this I'm, there's no window in here and no natural light tiny little l-shaped tool and I just keep this in my bathroom in a cabinet to keep it handy and you can use either end and use it kind of like a screwdriver so I'll show you next what I'm, how I'm going to tighten this. To get a close-up of this for you, I'm going to lift up the towel holder and <laughs> there's a tiny little hole here where there's an Allen wrench nut and that's where I'm going to put the Allen wrench to tighten this. All right, so now I showed you where this is tightened, I'm going to take the Allen wrench and just fit it inside. And it's not round, it actually has edges. So you want to feel until you have it completely in there. And remember, it's left to loosen and right to tighten. So I'm going to turn it this way until I can't turn it anymore. And there you go. So that's repair number one. The second repair I have to make is on this medicine cabinet mirror. About twice a year, it just doesn't open. It's a press magnetic thing. So uh, my millwork guy is the guy who built the cabinet and put this together. And the first time I was him, I'm like, Bob, I can't open the door without using tweezers to pry it open. And he said, okay, I'm going to show you what, tell you what to do over the phone and it works. So about twice a year I have to do this. So let's see if it'll open. So see what I mean? I don't know if you can see that. No, you can't. Let me move the camera. When I press this, it should open all the way. And it's not. So I have to use my tweezers to pull the door open. So now I'm going to show you how I adjust the two screws and the hinges to get the mirror where it should be. The tools I need for this are a small step ladder, which is what I'm standing on, and a screwdriver with the big flat head because these two screws here and here are flat head and big. So what I need to do is unloosen each of them just a smidge then pull the mirror up, my hand is under the mirror, pull it up, and then tighten each one. So, I hope you can see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna actually loosen the bottom, if I can see right, the bottom one, just a smidge. Loosen, and remember, left to loosen, just a smidge. Then I'm gonna lift up the mirror. And the thing is, it doesn't feel like I'm lifting the mirror up, but I am. And then with it up, I'm holding it up with my right hand from the bottom. And I don't have glasses on, so yeah, I'm doing this now. Then I tighten the top one, still holding the mirror up. And again, I'm trying to see it. Tighten the bottom one. All right. Well, let's see if you can see this. I'm going to close it and I'll move the camera and we'll test it. Let's see if it worked. I'm going to focus the camera on the corner over here, please. Thank you. And voila, it worked. So those are just a couple repairs I have around the house. So some of you might be new to taking care of your own home. You might have just recently moved out of your parents' home, or you're on your own for the first time in your life, or um, for some women, their husbands are out of town and they need to fix some things and don't want to save the money from calling a repairman. So those are just a couple things that are pretty easy to fix on your own. You don't need a lot of hand strength to do it. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. Check out some of my other videos 
Either if you're watching on mobile, click the little I in the upper right hand corner for a card, or if you're watching on a computer, you can click either of the two other um, thumbnails that are showing for a couple other videos. Bye.